with server control. So basically, if I want to check the status of my um, database, I do server control status database space dash d rack db because that's the name of my database. All right? So it's not running at all. As you can see, it's not running. It's not running on both node one and node two. Okay. So the next thing I have to do is. <clears throat> Right, the next thing, because I, I have a script for this, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to log back in to SQL Plus. Then I'm going to start my database. Well, actually, then I'm going to exit. Right? And then I'm going to do server control. I'm going to mount my database. Right? I'm going to put my database in mount mode. So what did we do so far? So we just stopped our database, server control, stop database dash D, right? And this is the name of my database. It depends on what your database is, right? Then we check the status to make sure that it's not running, right? So then I'm, I am mounted my database, right? I'm just gonna mount my database, server control, start instance dash D, blah, 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 right? Dash D is a database name and dash I is my instance, right? So I'm mounting my database on this one instance, on node one, right? Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do now is we're gonna log back into SQL Plus. Now when I do select open mode from V dollar instance, type. Oh, sorry, select open mode. Uh, again, type today from V dollar database. It says I'm mounted. When I do select, when I do select open mode from, let's see, GV dollar database. Right? I'm mounted, right? Okay. So now the next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to turn this parameter cluster database to false. It's a static parameter, so we have to rebounce our database again. So I'm just going to paste that, right? So the next thing that so cluster database, right? Before you ch you can turn your database to archive log mode, you have to turn this cluster database parameter to false. And scope equals sp file means that this is a static parameter. You can't change it on the fly. You cannot. So the next thing that we're going to do is then we're going to what? Put our database in archive log mode. Alter database archive log mode, right? So now when we do what? Archive log list. As you can see now our database is in archive log mode, okay? So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn this database, we're going to turn this parameter back to true, right? Now we're going to shut down our database. Let's do shut down immediate. Okay, so now that our database is shut down, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start restart our database. So now we're going to exit out of here, and then we're going to restart our database across all the nodes, across all the nodes. So we're going to do that, just paste that. Okay, now that our database is started, let's check the status. Let's see if our database is truly started across all the nodes. So we do status database.
And while that's doing that, we can just open up a new tab. Is slow.
Okay, so our database is running. We confirmed that our database is running um, on both. So we've restarted it and we checked the status. So now we're gonna log back in. We're gonna log back into our database. Okay, now when we do archive log list, 